All right, just punching down the cap, having a look. Uh, it looks just gorgeous. It smells gorgeous, but I guarantee if you could taste the tannin right now, it's just through the roof. Um, again, that's something not to be alarmed with. So when I tried it last night, I almost choked. Um, I just uh, didn't bother me and I didn't think that this is all for nothing. I knew that that's what we're doing battle with. Sangiovese is um, a great people battle with. Uh, when you get when you get it right though, it just you know a, a shanty style wine. Obviously, that's a blend, but it's primarily the Sangiovese. But a good shanty is um, is a beautiful thing. So you just gotta you just gotta fight your way through it, and we'll get there in the end. So, but looks just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm going to get a temperature reading as well, and let's see if we can get some juice here. So you can see the juice. It's probably a little bit hard to see today, but um, it's a nice deep color, but it's not, you know, it's not as deep as something you'd see for Cabernet Sauvignon or something like that. Uh, again, that's the Sangiovese grape. It's a thin skin grape, and uh, that's probably par for the course. Let's have a look. Let me get some more. I need about, I think safely about 100 mils. Oh, I've got a little bit of grape in there. And that's what happens at just past five in the morning, unfortunately. That's good. Mm-hmm. Pop that there. Get a temperature read on it. No, not that hot, 21, let's see. I'm messing about 21.5 so this has been kept quite cool as well um, which is interesting <laughs> so um, if you treat this like it's a Pinot Noir um, a lot of a lot of literature that I've read has said that Pinot Noir you want to um, really get that temperature fermentation up high to obviously not enough to kill the yeast but up high to um, get that extraction in there so where I've read what I've read with the Sangiovese is that um, you may want to consider a cooler fermentation now I've got no control of the temperature it's just a bucket in the garage um, but because I'm sat here you know in in Liverpool even though we had a heat wave it's not um, you know somewhere in California, for example, um, or Southern Italy. So um, therefore, I think it is going to be a little bit cooler. Anyway, I'll shut up now.